Hi folks, it's Steve Brizetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. Here we are in part seven of our eight part basic training for CyberLink Power Director. We've got a nice movie going here on the timeline. Let's play with some titles for it. The titles are found, obviously enough, in the title room here on the left. By the way, these little red dots simply means that there's content in some of these rooms that I haven't yet looked at. If I were to go to one of those rooms, you see that the red dots tell me where I can find new content. That new content, especially if you've got the 365 version of the program, is continually being downloaded to your computer. New stuff all the time. So it's just an indicator to show you where it's at. Let's choose a title. We'll choose a vacation title, one called Vintage Memory. And you notice when you go to any one of these rooms, quite often at the top, there are modifiers available. So you can either create a new title template or modify an existing one. That's true when you go to any of the effects or the particle or picture in picture rooms also. I don't want to modify or create a new template, but I am going to work with the existing template by dragging it down here to my timeline to video track two. So now it is overlaying my video that's on video track one. Now this particular title has a window in it, so I'm seeing through it to the video that's on video track one. You can do some modification right here. I recommend that you do it in the title designer, which opens up if you just double click on the title on your timeline. There we go. And here we can call this. I'm sure it's no surprise that once you uh, type in your custom text, you have options here for changing the font, changing the size. I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. You notice how previews in real time, as I just hover over any of these numbers, I can see what my new title will look like. I actually think there could be a more exciting title there than Arial. Let's go ahead and use Autumn. That's a nice look for the title. Uh, when you're in a number of the designers, by the way, there's an express window, which just gives you the very, very basics. And there's advanced. I recommend you just stay in advanced. There's so much more cool stuff available to you. Each of the elements in this title are represented on the little timeline here at the bottom of the panel. So for instance, this, let's see if I can widen that panel a little bit and maybe, there we go. So right here at the top of the timeline or at the bottom of the timeline, is it looks like there's a particle. I haven't really previewed this, so let's see what that particle is. Oh, it's a guy riding a bicycle there. You notice there's animation also for the text. Kind of cool, there are things going on in this title. This animation you can see indicated at the beginning and end of that particular clip called Biking the Beach, that's the text. And this represents the dance of numbers in this little grayed out area and I can make it happen faster or slower just by changing the size of those grayed out areas. So I think it disappears also by dancing away. Yeah. So we can control how fast that happens by um, moving these little gray areas or extending these gray areas. We can actually do some animation here for that title by keyframing position and scale and opacity as we talked about in our last session. Let's toggle that off. These animations are all, of course, customizable. If you just select the object on the little timeline and go to any one of these tabs, you can see all the things you can modify. So our in animation, I think there are like 75 of these. Right now is those, it's those little dancing letters, they're calling it the icicles. We can, uh, we can swap in a different one. Perspective, make it look a little more Star Wars-y. And there's an in animation. You see in animation for how the text is introduced and an out animation for how the text disappears. The X means no effect at all. But these little animations are pretty cool. Motion, in this particular case, the text isn't doing any moving, but if we were to select a motion path, say for instance, a squiggly line, you notice that in addition to those letters dancing in, the text itself is gonna be following a little track. Can't really see it because we've got that Star Wars animation going on. But you can add animation also to these individual objects by selecting them. But let's go back here to object. We'll select the text again and you can see how many different options you have, including if you're working in 3D, making the text look like it's floating closer to the viewer than the background of the title. So a lot of customizing you can do. In fact, you can add particles, uh, you can add more text blocks, you can add graphics, you can do an awful lot here.
in modifying or creating your own custom title. When we're done, we click OK. And now there's our title for the movie. Nicely enough, a bicyclist riding through in our bicycle animated title. Titles are a lot of fun. There's a great library of them. And as I said, if you go up here to all content, you can even click on free templates in the upper left hand corner and go to the director zone and download titles that were created by other users free of charge. Huge, huge library of them in case all of these aren't enough for you.